Assalamualaikum and hi. So this is chapter 10, part 2, which is uh, we're going to cover uh, the subtopic 3, which is the factor theorem. And for this uh, part 2, we have another two subtopics. Uh, one of it is the factor theorem and the other one will be the zero and the root um, factor. So we're going to see it um, later so let's just focus on this one factor theorem so what uh let's see the definition first if the remainder obtained from dividing the polynomial px so the polynomial is uh, got denoted as capital p by x minus a is zero then the linear term x minus a is called a factor of the polynomial. So, uh, apa maksud dia dekat sini? Uh, factor tu adalah bila kita ada satu polynomial Px yang mana uh, bila kita dah um, susun semula ataupun obtaining a remainder if the remainder obtained from dividing the polynomial is zero remainder maksudnya baki dia. Kalau kita sudah bahagi dia polynomial tu, kalau kita guna long division or by substitution Bila kita ganti masuk the value, the remainder you get zero. So, baki dia adalah zero. So, that one x minus a yang dalam sebutan macam ni dalam bracket, that one is your factor. Sorry, that one is your factor. Okay. So, uh, if p a equal to zero, then x minus a is a factor of px. So, remember, uh, for factor, it's always... Uh, in term of x minus a or x plus a whatsoever but uh, you have a bracket for it okay that one is factor okay number one conversely if x minus a is a factor of px then p a must be equal to zero uh, dia kata sebaliknya kalau x minus a tu adalah factor untuk px Kan kalau bentuk faktor dia mesti macam ni. Then kalau kita ganti masuk A ni ke dalam PX tadi, you akan dapat 0. Okay. So, dia timbal balik dengan yang definition yang ni lah. Number 2, in general, if AX plus B is a factor of PX, then P dalam bracket, negative B over A equal to zero. Uh, so sama juga dia macam ni juga. Cuma you have to rearrange atau susun semula x minus a equal to zero. So you will get x equal to a. That's why you get this one. x equal to a. You substitute into your p. Kan? So you get equal to zero. So sama juga dengan yang ini. This one you have ax plus b. When you rearrange dia, susun semula. What happen is that this one kan? When you rearrange there, you akan dapat ax plus b equal to 0, right? So, bila susun semula, you will get x equal to negative b over a. Uh, negative b over a. So, sama juga lah yang ini. Yang ni, x minus a equal to 0. So, bila you susun semula, that's why you get x equal to a. Uh, so, this one x equal to A ni, you ganti masuk ke dalam, you punya P. Uh, so, that's why, kalau you ganti masuk dalam P, you dapat 0, maksudnya itu adalah faktor dia. Uh, sama juga yang ni. Okay, let's see that uh, example. Determine whether the following linear function are factors of the given polynomial. So, you are given these polynomials, these two polynomials and you are given these two factors. So, you need to tentukan, determine whether this one, this linear function dekat sini, ni dua-dua linear kan? Whether dia, dia adalah factor untuk this polynomial atau tidak. Uh, so, how do we determine whether it is a factor? So, kita recall balik yang tadi. Kalau dia faktor, bila kita ganti masuk this uh, faktor, you akan dapat the polynomial equal to 
0. So let's try for the first one. You have this polynomial, can 3 minus 7x plus 5x square minus x cubed. So you are given x minus 3 as the factor. So you will rearrange this one. You will get x equal to 3. So this x equal to 3, you're going to substitute into here. Okay. You're going to substitute into here. I'm sorry. Let me erase first. Okay. Okay. Ni yang kita ganti masuk ke dalam sini. So, bila you ganti masuk dia ke dalam ni, 3 minus 7x ni you ganti masuk dengan 3. Plus 5 times 3 square minus 3 cube. Then, you calculate this one, you will get 540, which is, this is not equal to 0. So, what happened when this is not equal to 0? We can conclude that, that the x minus 3, given yang ni tadi, x minus 3 ni, is not a factor of px. Uh, sebab dia tidak, the answer you is not equal to 0. So, this is not the factor of px. Let's see more example. Uh, so, you are given another polynomial, px equal to this one, and another factor, which is 2x minus 1. So, first of all, you need to rearrange your factor first x to obtain your x, x equal to 1 over 2. Okay, so this is your x. So this x, you're going to substitute into this polynomial. Uh, ganti masuk dia ke dalam this polynomial. Okay, so bila you dah substitute, you calculate lah, key in into your calculator, then you get the answer is 0. Uh, so what happened? Kalau dia 0, meaning that this factor 2x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. Uh, okay, so I hope you can see clearly uh, you, the difference when you have the answer of the polynomial equal to 0 and the other one is not equal to 0. So how do you going to make conclusion based on that? Okay. Remember, once again, if you get the answer is not equal to zero, meaning that that given factor is not a factor for this polynomial. But when you have the, the answer is equal to zero, meaning that this factor, or this function over here is a factor of this polynomial. Okay. So let's see my example. If 2x plus 1 is a factor of polynomial px equal to 2x cubed plus px square minus 5. Find the value of p. Uh, okay, so the problem is uh, over here is you don't know what is the value for p. But uh, for sure that this function over here, linear function over here, 2x plus 1 is a factor. So what does it mean bila dia kata ni adalah factor? Maksudnya, bila you substitute px ke, uh, this thing ke dalam you punya polynomial, it must equal to 0. Uh, okay, so first thing you need to do is, since 2x plus 1 is a factor of px, so kita carilah uh, x ni equal to apa? x equal to negative 1 over 2. So this x equal to negative 1 over 2, you're going to substitute into your px tadi. So, you ganti masuk dia, dan you equalkan dengan 0. Kenapa kena letak equal to 0 dekat sini? Sebab dia kata, it is a factor. So, kalau dia factor, dia mesti equal to 0. Then, when you substitute this thing, nanti you akan dapat p ni. Ganti masuk semua, susun, susun, susun. Then, you still have your P over here, which is, we still don't know what is the value for P. Then you rearrange, kira lah, yang ni kan, yang ada ada value ni, kira kira susun semula, then you get your P equal to 21. Uh, so that is the answer for your P just now. Okay, uh, more example, given that X plus 2 is a factor of this function, 
Okay, so dia dah bagi sama juga macam tadi. This linear function is a factor of this polynomial. Ni lah polynomial dia kan. Find the constant k. Uh, instead of p, tadi cari minta cari p. Now you have to find k. Hence, factorize the expression completely. Okay, this one you have extra question to solve which is you need to factorize. Factorize the expression completely. Ha, dia minta kamu faktorkan dia. Faktorkan dia maksudnya you have to write it in in bracket. Kena tulis dia dalam bentuk bracket-bracket. Macam tu. Faktorkan. Okay, so let's see the solution. So, this is your polynomial yang ada k tadi. Since dia kata x plus 2 is a factor of px, dia dah bagi tahu x plus 2 ni is a factor ha. of px. Jadi, kita tahu p, this one is x plus 2. So, you know your x is actually equal to negative 2 kan? Bila you susun semula. Ha. So, this x equal to negative 2, bila you substitute dalam this polynomial, you will get 0. Kenapa dapat 0? Sebab kita dah tahu dia adalah factor. Okay. So, you, re uh, you substitute, plug in the value of negative 2 into this polynomial, uh, beserta dengan this k, dan uh, then pop, 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 then you get your k. 2k is equal to negative 16 and k equal to negative 8. So, now you have your complete polynomial okay with the value of k so kan tulis semula lah your polynomial is equal to 2x cubed plus x square minus 8x minus 4 this is your k okay okay solve that one kita dah selesaikan cari k find k but now you have another extra question which is you need to factorize the expression completely Factorize. How do you going? How you going to factorize? Is by using long division. So I'm sure this one, uh, Miss Sue already um, taught you about long division last week. Okay. So you have long division meaning the pembahagian panjang lah. So you have this one. This is your polynomial. This is your p x. And this is your dx. This is your polynomial and this is your divide. dx, divider, I mean, division. Okay. So, you kena bahagi. Px ni bahagi dengan x plus 2. So, kita buat pembahagian panjang. Macam kita buat dulu pembahagi masa sekolah rendah kan. So, you have 2x cubed plus x square minus 8x minus 4. Bahagi dengan divide with x plus 2. So, what happen? Uh, kita tengok dulu yang ni. How do you obtain uh, x multiply with what to obtain 2x cube? x kali berapa untuk dapat 2x cube? Uh, x kali dengan 2x kuasa 2. Uh, baru you akan dapat 2x kuasa 3 ni. Uh, so, you letaklah 2x kuasa 3. Okay, then, tulis yang ni, yang you dapat dekat atas tadi, 2x square ni, you have to multiply with this one. 2x square, you multiply with 2, you get 4x square. Ha, that's why you get 4x square over here. Okay, so, apa dah jadi, apa jadi bila you dah ada jawapan dekat sini, you minus dia. Okay, you tolak. Tolak lah ni. This one tolak ni, you get. 0. Okay, x square minus uh, 4x, you get negative 3 x square. Okay, bawa turun yang bawah ni. Ni bawa turun macam biasa, negative 8x. Okay, kita bula balik. x kali berapa dapat 3x square? Uh, x kali berapa? You get negative 3x square. So, you get lah x kali negative 3x. Okay. Uh. So, you have negative 3x dekat sini. Lagi sekali, whatever you have in here, you have to multiply with the things over here. So, negative 3x, you have to multiply with 2. Negative 3x multiply with 2, you will get negative 6x, which is this one. Uh -huh. So, bila dah dapat lagi satu sebutan dekat macam ni, again, you tolak lagi dia. 
Ha, macam tadi sini kita tolak, ni kita tolak juga. So, ni tolak-tolak ni. Ni dah cancel lah. Cancel out kan. Yang ni negative 8x tolak dengan minus 6x. So, you get another negative 2x. Ni bawa turun. Ni bawa turun eh. Ni bawa turun. Ni bawa turun. Okay. Okay, so you get uh, negative 4 dekat bawah sini. So, lagi semula macam mana kita mau obtain x kali berapa dapat negative 2x. X kali dengan negative 2. Uh, so, bawa turunlah dia. Negative 2x ni dah solve. So, once again, apa-apa yang you dapat dekat sini, you have to multiply dengan yang dekat sini. Negative 2 times 2, you get negative 4. That's why you have this answer negative 4 over here. So, once again, you have to minus this 2 linear function. Okay. Bila dah tolak-tolak, pop, dia punya remainder 0. Okay. Remainder dia kosong. Ha. So, itu bermaksud bila remainder kosong, maksudnya betul lah dia adalah faktor. X plus 2 tadi ni adalah faktor untuk Px tadi. Eh. Okay. So, bila kita dah dapat yang itu, kita tahulah Px, kita susun semula. This one is your Rx, kan? Remainder. This one is your remainder. Baki dia, Rx. Yang kamu dapat dekat atas ni, this one is your Qx, quotient dia. Hasil bahagi kamu. This one is P, this one is D. Ha. Ni Dx kamu. Ni yang dalam ni adalah you punya P. So, kita susun semula ikut for, uh, polynomial punya rules. Px is actually equal to Qx times Dx plus Rx. So, what is your Qx? Your Qx is your quotient over here yang dekat atas ni. Ha, tulis baliklah tu x square minus 3x minus 2. Uh, this one multiply with dx. What is your dx? Oh, sorry. What is your dx? Okay. This one is your dx. Pembahagi tadi x plus 2. And what is your rx? Your rx is 0. Kan? Dapat kosong. Remainder dia kosong. So, di sini kosong lah. Ha. So, bolehlah you multiply dia macam biasa. Kembangkan dia. You expand this one. 2x square times x, you get apa? 2x square times 2, dapat apa? 2x square and blah, and blah, blah. Okay? So, bila... Uh, eh, oh, sorry, sorry. You don't have to expand, sorry. Because this one, the question need you to factorize. So, jangan kembangkan lagi, okay? You need to factorize. Factorize mean you need to kecik-kecikkan uh, dia dal dalam bentuk factor macam ni. Uh, so, this one, you have uh, already a factor yang tadi kita dah dapat awal-awal, x plus 2. So, from here, you need to obtain another two factors. Uh, so, key in je dalam calculator. Guna function equation. So, you will have your 2x plus 1 and another one is x minus 2. So, you have three factors. Ada three factors dekat sini. Okay. So, remember factor atau factor always dalam bentuk bracket ni. Ha, dia mesti ada dalam bentuk kurungan-kurungan. That one is factor. Okay. So, let's move on to the last subtopic. Okay. I think that's enough for uh, factor. Uh, that's all the examples for factors. What happen when you have uh, polynomial. Okay, let's recall what happened when you have a polynomial and given a factor. You need to you need to show or you need to determine whether is it really a factor for this polynomial. So, maksudnya kalau dah dia, dia bagi satu linear function macam ni, you just need to substitute lah. Uh, and if you get if you get the value of the px equal to 0, then it is a factor. But otherwise, it is not a factor for the polynomial. Okay, that is one of the one type of uh, one type of example. Another type is when you need to find 
uh, you, you need to find a value for P. P okay like this. Huh? So you are given one factor. Then you need to determine one of the unknown in the um, polynomial. So it's either P or it's either M or K like this. Huh? And uh, other than that, you will need to factorize. Okay. Since you already get one of the factor, of course, this is 2x cubed kuasa 3. So kalau kuasa 3, maksudnya you will have 3 factors. Kalau kuasa 2, you will have 2 factor. Okay. So, uh, and this is another type of solution for factorization. So, you boleh guna long division. And this is the formula for polynomial. So, this one is fixed. Okay. You need to memorize it. Px equal to Qx. I'm oh, sorry. Px equal to Qx time dx plus rx. Apa tu Qx? This Qx is your quotient. This one yang dekat atas ni. Hasil kamu punya bahagi. Polinomial yang panjang ni lah yang di tengah-tengah. Dx ni adalah kamu punya division. Yang pembahagi dia. And uh, divider, sorry. Dx is your divider. And remainder is your punya bahagi. If any lah, kalau ada. Okay, let's move on to the last subtopic, which is roots and zeros of polynomial. So, this is um, quite, quite new for you uh, because it's involved polynomial. So, I'm sure you have learned about roots in chapter quadratic equation, but this one is when you have a power more than 2. For example, x cubed or x to the power of 4. Okay, that's why it's called as polynomial. Okay, let's see the definition. A zero of, pol a, zero of a polynomial Px is a number A such that Pa equal to 0. Uh, dia kata dekat sini, a zero Untuk satu polinomial itu adalah a number A. Zero tu adalah satu, nom, satu number. Satu number A. Yang mana kita tidak tahu lagi what is the value. Such that bila kita ganti masuk this number A ni ke dalam this polinomial, we will get zero. Uh, so, dia lebih kurang uh, quite similar with the factor. The one we have learned before. It just that uh, the way you write it down is different. Kalau factor, you will have like this. Kalau factor, you will have this is factor. Oops, let me erase a bit. Kalau factor, you will have it written down in bracket. Factor, dia akan jadi x minus a. Okay. Uh, this one is factor. But 0, 0 is equal to A itself. That A. Oh, what happened? So don't get confused. Factor adalah dalam bentuk bracket x minus a. The zero is the one bila you rearrange dia equal to zero. Uh, so x minus ni kan kalau kita susun semula x minus a equal to zero. So x equal to a. Uh, so this one, this a ni adalah you punya zero. Uh, Okay. And another thing is x equal to a is called a root of the polynomial equation. Px equal to 0. Okay, see, these three things are connected and are relate, and related to each other. 
So, kalau vektor dia bermula dalam bentuk macam ni, dalam bracket x minus a. Bila you equalkan dengan 0, you will get x equal to a. This x equal to a is what we call as you punya root, kan? This thing, x equal to a ni you punya root. Uh. And the a, the a itself is your 0. So, tiga Tiga benda ni, tiga terms ni are related. Okay, in general, if x equal to a is a root of a polynomial equation, px equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor of px. See, this is what I have explained before. x, kalau dia tulis dalam bentuk Ada equation macam ni, eh, sorry, ada tanda equal macam ni. X equal to A, ni adalah root. Okay, this one is root. When you have X minus A, dalam bentuk macam ni, dalam bracket, this one is a factor. Okay, dengan syarat, bila you substitute this X equal to A ke dalam the polynomial, we get zero. Okay, every polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n roots. Ah, so, dia, dia uh, refer balik. Kalau setiap polynomial tu, persamaan polynomial tu, ada degree berapa, then degree n degree tu yang akan tentukan berapa roots that you will have. Let's say, you have quadratic. Quadratic, the degree is x square kan? Kuasa 2. So, you will only have two roots. But what happen when you have x cube kuasa tiga? So, you will have three roots. And when you have degree of four, for example, x to the power of four, then you will have four roots. So, it's the same. It will follow the degree and has exactly n roots. Bilangan dia sama dengan power. Bilangan roots dia sama dengan bilangan degree dia, sorry. And some of these roots may be repeated. Uh, so, they they still kira kalau repeated, let's say you have x minus 1 tu dua kali. x minus 1, x minus 1. So, that one you still consider two roots. Ada dua roots. Cuma, cuma dia berulang. Okay. Okay, let's see the example over here. Show that Negative 4 is a 0 of 6x cubed plus 2x, 23x square minus 5x minus 4. So, apa maksudnya is a 0? Tengok, a 0 ni is actually one single number. It must be a number, a value. So, dia minta kamu buktikan, betul ke negative 4 ni a 0 untuk this polynomial. So, apa macam mana kita mau buktikan? Is... You know that if it is a zero, then when you substitute this value into your polynomial, you will get zero lah. Uh, so, kita ganti lah. Kita substitute this negative 4 into this polynomial. So, every each x over here, you're going to substitute it with negative 4. Then, you key into your calculator, you will get the answer is equal to zero. Then, definitely, the, it is proven that the since polynomial negative 4 equal to 0, then negative 4 is a 0 of px. Okay? And how about this one? Factorize px equal to 2x cubed minus 9x square plus 3x plus 4. And write all the zeros. Uh, so, maksudnya kata, write all the zeros. Maksudnya, you akan dapat more than one zero. Okay, ada beberapa values lah yang you akan dapat. So, you have this polynomial, but first of all, you need to factorize. Uh, and then, to this semula, all the zero. Okay, how are you going to factorize this one? Okay, they got to substitute. First of all, you need to substitute the factor of the constant term, such as plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, so on and so forth, to get, to get the first factor. So, but we still don't know uh, what is the value for the factor. So, kita guna kaedah 
trial and error lah. You start with plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2, so on and so forth. So, kita start dulu. Try dengan P equal to, ah uh, sorry, kita try X2 equal to 1. Okay. Since we we don't have any idea, kita tidak tahu, uh, kita tidak ada hints langsung. So, you will start with the basic lah. Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, dan seterusnya. So, now I'm trying with x equal to 1. I'm going to substitute x equal to 1 into this polynomial. Then, uh, fortunately, uh, I got, uh, I'm lucky enough that I, I got the answer equal to 0. Uh, cuba sekali dah dapat equal to 0. Then, I can uh, conclude that x minus 1 is one of the factor. Kalau dia adalah factor, meaning that this x equal to 1, kita boleh tulis juga x equal to 1 is the root. x equal to 1, root dia. Okay. Itu root. Kalau dia tanya ada soalan root. But now, dia tanya 0. So, for the 0 equal to 1. 0 equal to 1. Okay, next. By use, okay, I already obtained one of my factor, okay, so I need to find another two factors. Uh, so, there, kalau saya dah dapat factor saya, nanti senanglah saya mau cari saya punya zero. You just need to rearrange, you susun semula, kan? So, uh, how do I know I need to find another two? Uh, okay, since I already have one over here, kan dia punya power, uh, sorry, dia punya degree ni kuasa tiga, meaning that you will have three zeros. You will have three zeros. Eh? So, kuasa tiga. You will have three zero. You have three factors. You have three roots. Eh? So, I already have one. So, I'm going to use this, make use of this one factor to find another two. Untuk cari lagi dua. So, I'm going to use long division macam tadi, pembahagian panjang. So, this is my Px, this is my divider, pembahagi. Pembahagi tu kita ambil, biasanya kita akan ambil yang faktor tadi inilah. Uh, this is going to be my dx. Okay. dx. So, budget kita buat pembahagian panjang, long division. Okay, sekali lagi, x kali berapa dapat 2x kuasa 3. Uh, X kali dengan 2X kuasa 2. Okay. Okay. So, you tulislah 2X cube. Okay, dah settle. So, ingat semula yang apa-apa yang you get over here, you kena multiply balik dengan yang sebelah sini. So, you have 2X square multiply with negative 1, you get negative 2X square, right? You get negative 2x square. So, now you dah settle dua ni, you can minus it. Tolak dia. Ha. So, tolaklah dia. This one, tolak this one, dapat 0. This one, negative 9x square minus, minus lagi 2x square, you get negative 7x square. Okay, this thing bawa turun. 3x. Okay, kita start semula. X kali berapa dapat? X kali berapa dapat negatif 7X square? X kali negatif 7X. So, that's why you got negatif 7X over here. Ha, tulislah. This one settle. Negatif 7X kuasa 2 ni dah settle. So, negatif 7X ni multiply balik dengan negatif 1. You get positif 7X. Dapat positif 7X. Ha. So, once again, you need to minus dia. Tolak. Lagi-lagi sekali, you kena tolak lah. So, dah tolak. This one, this one cancel out. Plus positive 3x minus 7x. So, you get negative 4x. Okay, ni boleh bawa turun. Dah bawa turun dia. Oops, apa salah dia? Bawa turun. So, kita mula lagi sekali. X... Multiply with what? You get negative 4x. Uh, x kali berapa? Dapat negative 4x. x kali negative 
4. Ha. So, this one ditulis semua lah. Negative 4 X ni dah settle. Ini uh, negative 4 ni multiply with negative 1. So, ingat apa-apa yang you dah dapat hasil dekat atas ni, you kena multiply balik dengan yang dekat sini. Negative 4 times negative 1. Dapatlah positive 4. Uh, so, then you, once again you need to minus. Jadi, tolak ni, tolak ni, tolak ni. Uh, you get 0. Kan? Okay? Uh, so, this is your reminder. Baki dia. So, kita tulis semula PX. Apa tadi rules untuk PX? PX, cara tulis dia. Equal to QX times DX. Uh, this one is DX lah. Kan? QX DX plus Rx. This is D ya. Eh? Plus Rx. But you don't have Rx kan? Since you Rx equal to 0. Uh, so, kan tulis lah. This is your Qx. This is your Q kan? This is your Q. This is your R D. Sorry. The one zero uh, down there is your reminder. This is your reminder. Reminder. Sakit bagi dia. So, plus zero. Tidak ada kosong kat sini. So, now you have X minus 1. Ah, tu dia semula X minus 1. This, yang panjang ni pula, yang kuadratik ni, you need to factorize. So, tekan kakak letter sahaja since this one is kuasa 2. So, you get another factors which is 2X plus 1 and X minus 4. Uh, so, from here, I have all together three factors, ada tiga factors. From the factors, I can rewrite dia, tulis semula dia dalam bentuk root uh, ataupun dalam bentuk zero. So, kalau kita tulis semula, we know that this one is x equal to 1. This one is x equal to negative 1 over 2 and this one x equal to 4. Okay. So, all the zeros are 1, negative 2, 1 over 2 and 4. Okay. Okay. That is zeros. Okay. Zeros, ingat, zeros always dalam single value macam ni. Yang ada equal tu, yang ada sebutan equal tu adalah roots. Yang ada bracket tu, kita panggil factor. Okay. Determine all the roots of x to the power of 4 plus x cube plus minus 7x square minus x plus 6 equal to 0. You need to determine all the roots. <laughs> all the roots. So, how many roots you will have? You see over here, the highest degree is 4. Meaning that you will have 4 roots. Okay, at the 4 roots. 4 roots. You will have 4 roots all together. Oops, they actually keluar this thing. So you will have four roots. Okay, let's see what we're going to do first. Okay, let's say this is your polynomial equal to zero. Okay, by inspection, they kata by inspection yang tadi itulah kita ganti masuk dengan since we uh, have no idea or no hints given. So, we start with 1. Kita buat x kita equal to 1. Ganti masuklah dalam this polynomial. Then you get 0. Oh, that's lucky enough. Okay, why don't we try another 1? P equal to negative 1. Uh, so, P, uh, try P equal to negative 1. Uh, substitute into your Px over here. Again, you get uh, 0. So, now you have Two, um, you can say you have two factors since the answer equal to zero. Okay, so x min one of the factor is x minus one. The other one is x plus one. Okay, so you have two factors. You need to find another two factors. Ada dua lagi kan? So ada kita boleh kata lah dia. So p x equal to x minus one, x plus one. Bracket ax square plus bx plus 
C. Eh? Ha, yang mana yang ni kita still don't know. Sebab, uh, but, uh, how can I be sure it is A, A x square? Because of the power, the degree is actually kuasa 4. Uh, saya dah solve this one. This one is kuasa 2 kan? Sebab dia ada x times x, you will get x square. So, another 2, you will have quadratic lah. Quadratic which is in this form. Ax square plus bx plus c. But for this quadratic, I have to uh, factorize this so that I can see it clearly what is my factor. The other two factors. Okay. Okay, this one, x minus 1, x plus 1. Ni actually, saya boleh tulis balik dalam bentuk yang ini. Kalau you expand this one, you will get x square minus 1. Okay, since I have this one, you can actually use uh, long division if you want. Long, buat long division macam tadi. Uh, or you can use this one by co comparing the coefficient. The other way, satu lagi cara. So, you have x to the power of 4. This is your polynomial, kan? Uh, so, you equalkan dia dengan ax to the power of 4 plus you just put coefficient dekat depan ni. Letak coefficient. Yang mana coefficient ni A kita sebut sebagai A, B, C, D and so on so forth. So you will have x to the power of 4 plus bx cube plus c minus a x square minus bx minus c. Okay. Because of this one, how do I obtain this one? I just follow the one over here on the left hand side. Kita compare kiri dan kanan. So, um, okay. So, mana kan di sini? Ada x to the power of O, 4, saya so just letak A. This one, I just letak B. This one, uh, mana kan dia adalah kuadratik. I just refer back to this one, x square minus 1, kan? Uh, ni adalah yang kuadratik. So, that's why x square minus 1. So, I will have C minus A, x square minus bx. You have single x over here, so I just put another bx minus c. And this is c lah. Okay. Now, by comparing the coefficient, compare coefficient, a tu adalah berapa? Compare dengan yang kiri dengan kanan. a adalah 1 dekat sini. Untuk kuasa 4, kita compare dengan kuasa 4. Kuasa 3, compare dengan kuasa 3. Kuasa 2, compare dengan kuasa 2 and Linear, you compare dengan linear and constant with the constant. So, paling senang, ni lah kuasa 4. A, sini ada 1. Uh, that's why you have 1. Kuasa 3, sini ada 1. So, you get your B equal to 1, A equal to 1. And kuasa, uh, sorry, for C, C constant dekat sini, terus you refer this one. 6. Negative C is positive 6. So, if C, then you get negative 6. Uh, so, you have A, B and you have C. Now, you already obtain your A, B and C. We refer back to the one we have over here. The unsolved AX square plus BX plus C. So, you get already your value for this. A, B and C. We can write it down. Dalam bentuk macam ni. Ni tadi kan yang ini x minus 1, x plus 1. Sini. Ini. Okay. So, saya just tulis semula. x minus 1, x plus 1. This one is a this one. a x square plus b x plus c. This is a x square plus b x plus c. Tadi. I just refer from here. Okay. So, you just ganti masuklah the value. What is the value for A, B and C? So, you get this one. So, then, tengok sekali lagi sekali. This is quadratic equation. So, you can factorize it. You will have like this. So, all together, you have four factors. X minus 1, X plus 1, X plus 3 and X minus 2. From these factors, you can write your roots. Uh, so, remember roots mesti ada equal. 
Ada tanda sama dengan ni. So your roots, your roots x equal to one, x equal to negative one, x equal to negative three, and x equal to two. So you have these roots. Okay. So that's it. That's all your roots. Uh, and how about if you need to find your zeros? Uh, kalau dia minta zeros pula, your zero adalah negative 3, uh, negative 1, uh, positive 1 and positive 2. So that's uh, all for chapter 10. Polynomial, we have covered all uh, new terms, which is um, the first one is factors. What is factors? Factors you are uh, written down in term of bracket. And then we have zeros. What is zeros? Zeros is you have a single values. Um, you have a value for that. Okay. And what is for roots? Roots mean you uh, the one you are the one you are write down using equal. Uh, ada sama dengan. So, all these three roots, factors and zeros are related. Uh, benda yang sama, tapi cara tulis yang berbeza. So, I hope you can differentiate between these three. That's all for chapter 10, polynomial. Um, thank you.